on a normal tour, you all would start here at our Student Welcome Center. This is where you'd meet with your tour guide as well as meet with your counselor. So if you're ever on campus and have any questions for us, this is where you can go to get all your answers. stop on tour is the Winner's Dining Hall. Once you become a Campbellsville Tiger, this is where you're going to eat majority of your meals. So, Winner's Dining Hall is an all-you-can-eat cafeteria, so you can get as many plates off any of our lines as you'd like. We have a ton of different options for lines. We have a main line that'll serve you a good well-rounded meal with a meat and some side items every day. We have a soup station, a salad bar, kind of coordinated with our main line. And then we have a sandwich line, pizza, pasta, a self-cook station that's full of delicious stir-fry options. We have a grill that's similar to the main line with a good well-rounded meal. And then we also have a fresh and fit station where healthy options are prepared fresh for each student that comes through the line. We have different options as far as hot dog station, a toaster oven, a waffle maker, and a cereal bar. You have drink stations located all across the cafeteria as well as a dessert line that's full of great options and the best chocolate chip cookies in the world, I promise. We have two different meal plan options for our students that live on campus. We have the option the 19 and the option the 220. Our dining hall is open 19 times during the week. On weekdays, Monday through Friday, it's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Then on Saturday and Sunday, it's just open for brunch and dinner, totaling 19 total meals. With the meal plan option the 19, you get one scan in per meal. So you never have to worry about running out of meals, which is definitely a benefit. The other option is the 220, which is 220 scans for the whole semester. That option gives you a little bit more flexibility than the 19 because you can use as many scans as you want per meal. So you could scan in your friends to eat with you or scan in multiple times because sometimes you need two lunches. So you can choose either option and you can switch options semester to semester so you never have to worry about being stuck with one option if you want to switch things up. front of our Chick-fil-A in Davenport Student Commons. This building is home to a lot of things including our Starbucks um, and Starbucks and Chick-fil-A are just two of the six locations uh, restaurants on campus that students can use their Tiger Dollars at. Um, Tiger Dollars are $200 preloaded onto students um, ID here on campus um, and they can use it at restaurants other than the CAF. Um, we also have our bookstore uh, where you can take care of your textbook needs. We have a post office and a student lounge where you can um, go and fellowship with your friends or eat your Chick-fil-A. here behind the big blue house is Papa John's and Tigerville Grill. Those are two other locations that you can use the 200 flex dollars that come on your student ID. They're really good options to have because our cafeteria does have set lunch and dinner hours. So it's nice to have options, you know, if you ever need a snack or a meal in between lunch and dinner or even a little bit extended past dinner time. This building behind me is our Ransdale Chapel. We are a Christian institution and there are some requirements that come along with that. One of those requirements is the obtainment of chapel credit. In order to graduate from Campbellsville University, you have to have 48 chapel credits. But don't freak out, that's over the course of four years. It breaks down to about six a semester. However, students can get their chapel credit at any pace, any rate they'd like to do that. We have a chapel service in here every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. Students aren't required, but they are encouraged to go to that.
that because that's one option to get chapel credit. There are a lot of other options that happen on our campus that students can receive chapel credit for attending or working. Some of those options include donating blood through our nursing school's blood drive, attending a majors fair, job fair, international fair, working our Office of Development's telefund, seeing any plays, concerts, recitals on campus, and a ton of different opportunities that happen throughout the semester. So as a freshman here on campus, and I know from first-hand experience, um, the chapel's going to be a place where you spend at least a small chunk of your time at. Uh, we have something that we call first class, and it's what we use to help freshmen get acclimated to the college experience. So with that, we have large group and small group. Large group meets in here at the chapel. It's, the, uh, it's only the freshman class, um, and they meet on Mondays at 10 a.m. Uh, so with small group, freshmen are divided based on their major, um, and with that they get an opportunity to get to know their professors in that program, and they also get a chance to meet the students that they're probably going to be having class with for the next four years. This is our alumni building. It's a home to the Russ Mobley Theater where all of our campus productions happen. Again, those are free for students to see and they also are chapel credit, so make sure to check them out. In the basement of this building are a couple different classrooms and you'll probably have a class in here um, if you take one of our humanities classes. We are now in the Technology Training Center, or as most students call it, the TTC. This building is home to quite a few of our classrooms on campus, like the one we're currently in. Our average class size at Campbellsville University is 14 students. That being said, you'll get to know your classmates and your professors really well. You won't feel uncomfortable raising your hand and asking questions, and you'll always know who in your class you can get notes from. This building is also home to our IT department, located in the basement. Students can go there to get their laptop work on or any other technology help they may need while they're students. So right now we are in Montgomery Library. Uh, right back through these doors we actually have our uh, tangible books. We also have a really large online database full of resources for our students. And then as you can see out here we have a open study area for students to use. We also have um, some private study rooms over here to the side. Right over here we have Books and Beans which is sort of like a coffee donut shop and this is yet another place where you can use those uh, Tiger Dollars that you get at the beginning of the semester. In our library, we also have a computer lab that students can use anytime that they're in here. We also have free printing in this building as well, as well as all over campus. This is our administration building. The top floor of this building houses our School of Business, and then our main floor houses offices like student records and financial aid. This building behind me is Carter Hall. It's our largest classroom facility. Um, it has floors in it for classrooms and also floors for professor offices, uh, mainly in the area of humanities. So right now we are in the BASC, which stands for our Badgett Academic Support Center. The first thing that you'll see when you walk in here is our computer lab. Um, this is open for all students to use um, on campus. In here we also have our walk-in tutoring, mainly for writing, so if you need an essay or something revised, this is the place to go. So along this wall here, we have all of our offices for our success coaches. Uh, these are designated to freshmen as they come in, and they are designated by major. So you'll have someone that can help you answer all the questions that you may have um, just entering into college. And then back here we have um, a large open study area. It's usually one of our quieter places to study on campus. Back here we also have a few study rooms as well, uh, just for more private setting uh, and for groups to get together and work on projects. This side of campus is home to many of our athletic facilities. Behind me here is Ron Finley Stadium, which is our football and men's and women's soccer field. 
Over here to this side is HIG Baseball Stadium where our baseball team plays. We also have our brand new athletic field house over here along with Powell Athletic Center, an indoor facility, and a few other buildings that are home to our sports teams. We have around 30 sports teams here on campus and love for students to come out and watch the games. They're all free for students to attend. Right now we're in the SAC, which stands for the Student Activity Center. Down here in our basement, we have what we call the Tiger's Den. It's a free area that we have for students to come and de-stress and socialize with friends. We also have a host of all kinds of activities, events, and resources for our students here on campus. Right now we're in the upstairs part of our Student Activity Center. This is the place where you can come, play a pickup game of basketball, hang out with your friends. As you can see, we also have flags all over our walls here. These just represent all of the different students we have on our campus from these countries. Because we have all of these connections with all of these countries, we have a large study abroad program. So if that's something you're interested in, it's really easy to get connected here. Campbellsville is home to a number of outdoor classrooms, including the one right behind me here. On days prettier than this one probably, your professors may take you outside and you'll be able to conduct class outside, get some fresh air, and spend a little bit less time in the classroom. They also serve as great socialization spots, study spots, hangout spots, and maybe even nap spots between classes. You'll often find groups of people out here hanging out, playing card games, even playing music sometimes, and they're always looking for more people to join them. The building behind me is Stapp Hall. It is one of two options females have for living here on campus. It's definitely the more traditional style option. There are two girls in each room and all the girls on the hallway, about 26, share a community style bathroom. On the third floor is laundry facilities, so the girls that live in the hall can do their laundry right in the building. They don't have to pack it up and take it anywhere. The main floor is a huge lobby area that's got good study space, as well as a space where a lot of events can happen that are planned by your resident assistant and resident director. Men have the equivalent of this option in North Hall and South Hall West. They're the exact same with two guys to each room, a lobby area, laundry facilities, and then community style bathrooms for the guys on each hall. Men also have the option of South Hall East, which is located in the same building as South Hall West. South Hall East is set up with four guys in each room, where each guy has their own individual bedroom, and then the four of them share a bathroom and a little bit of a common space with some couches and even a full-size refrigerator. Men also have the option of Broadway Hall, which is actually a renovated old hotel. There are two guys to each room, and the two guys share their own bathroom that's located in suite of their dorm. is another option that we have on our campus and it's quite a bit different from the traditional dorm style housing. We have both men and women's villages. There are six total people that live in one housing unit and that means three bedrooms and three bathrooms with two people per room. There's also a small living area with a couch, a love seat, and bar stools. And there's also a small kitchenette area that includes cabinet space, a sink, and a full-size fridge. This is our brand new wellness center. In here we have multiple weightlifting facilities, a large basketball court, an indoor walking track, and it's also home to our Simple Blend Smoothie Bar. This is just another place that you can use those flex dollars at. Thank you all for visiting us on a tour of Camelsley University. If you have any more questions or need any more information, you can visit us at campbellsville.edu or give our office a call at 270-789-5220. We hope to see you on campus soon with us.